Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Java program that will print the area and perimeter of a circle. In the NetBeans software, we are adding a new class by right clicking on the project, select new and Java class. The name of the class which we have given is circle. So a main class has been created as public class circle. We are writing the main method inside the class as public static void main. Main method takes an array of string as the parameter. This program is to find the area and perimeter of a circle. So to find the area and perimeter of a circle, we need to accept the value of radius from the user. So we are creating a scanner object. The scanner object has been created to read the data from the console. So that is why we have written the parameter for the scanner as system.in. The system.in indicates a standard input device. So the scanner object can be used to read the data from the keyboard from the console. The scanner requires the java.util package to be imported. On the console, we print a message that enter the radius by using system.out.println method. By using the scanner object and the method next float, a floating point value will be read from the user and it gets stored into a variable which is named as r. So r is for representing the radius of our circle. Now by using the equations of finding area and perimeter, we find the area and perimeter. So area is calculated by using pi into r square. So in order to get the pi, we are using math class. The math class is belong to lang module. So we can directly use because by default lang module will be imported for by default. So we write math dot pi into math dot pow which is used to find the power so to find out r square we are using r comma 2 so it will find out r square and it will get multiplied with math dot pi and result will get stored into the variable area similarly we calculate the value for perimeter and store inside a variable which is named as per the equation to find the perimeter is 2 pi r so we write 2 into math dot pi into r. Now to display the result of area and perimeter, we are using a formatting options. For using the formatting, we use the class which is named as decimal format. An object for the decimal format has been created by mentioning the formatting requirement. Now decimal format is belonging to a package java.text so that package need to be imported now hash indicates one decimal value so since we have written two decimal value after the point symbol so only two fractional part will be displayed so that becomes like a rounded to two digits after the point symbol The area and perimeter value will be displayed by using system.out.println method. So the value of area is not directly displayed. It has to be formatted according to the decimal format which we have created. So we call the method format by using the object of decimal format. The object of decimal format is df. So we have written df.format of area, similarly df.format of perimeter. So the value of area and perimeter will be formatted according to the df formatting and it will be displayed.
so execute and see the program so during the execution we can see that only two digits are displayed after the point symbol because of our formatting so if we are not using the decimal format and if we are displaying the value of the area and perimeter variable directly so it will be having the number of digits after the point symbol because we have not given the formatting so to round the floating or double value to two digits after point symbol we use the decimal format decimal format belonging to java.txt java.txt package and format a variable we can use the format method of decimal format class execute and see the program output thank you for watching this video